Hey guys, so today is day one of that 30 day challenge. It's currently 10.13. I just got up, got dressed for the gym. So I'm just gonna make my little pre-workout and head to the gym right away. Now we're heading to the gym. Hey guys, so we just got back from the gym. We did leg days and oh my God, I've literally never been so mad at the gym before because they don't have a Smith machine there and I had to do it like set up the regular machine. And it was so hard to do like putting the weights on and taking them off and trying to balance. That was really frustrating, but I'm going to go shower now and then we'll do a little chit chat about the rules I've set for myself, why I'm doing this. The thing I'm doing is called the 30 hard challenge. I don't know if it's like officially a thing. So I wanted to do the 75 hard challenge. It seems like a lot. So I was like, I'm gonna do 30 day challenge. And then if I can do that, then one day I'd like to also do the 75. These are the rules that I've made for myself that I'm gonna do for 30 days straight. And the challenge is basically if you don't complete any of these tasks in a day, you have to restart from the beginning. The reason I wanna do this challenge is because I'm really good at creating habits and doing them, but it only lasts me like three days. I go right back to like being unproductive and being a sloth. So I was like, I need something to hold me accountable to really force me to do this stuff. Because if I do it every single day, it's going to actually become a habit. I just want to live my most productive, best life. So I was like, I'm going to do this challenge. So the 75 hard challenge is complete two 45-minute exercises. One of them must be outdoors. I'm doing complete one indoor exercise every day for an hour, which is probably just going to be me going to the gym. And I work full-time at a dairy farm, so I'm going to count that as my outdoor activity. And then on the days that I have off from work, I'm going to do 45 minutes outside as well, is read 10 pages of a non-fiction book. I'm not really a non-fiction gal, so I'm doing 20 pages of any book. And then another one I added, this one's just random, but I meditate for 10 minutes every day. I've been meditating for like years but i'm really bad at doing it every single day so i'm gonna really try to do that and then the next one is drink a gallon of water which is the same for both yeah this is gonna be easy for me i already have a gallon water bottle i drink from every day so that's i'm not worried about that for the 75 hard you just pick any diet that you want and stick to it so i'm gonna be doing 120 grams of protein and 50 grams of fat and this one's gonna be a little challenging just because i usually get like 100 110 grams of protein a day both of these are the same as no alcohol at all which literally no problem for me because I got uh, alcohol poisoning once that traumatized me so the one I made for myself is only smoking twice a week because right now I smoke probably like four to five days a week I'm not cutting it out completely because I don't think smoking is like actually affecting me negatively it's just when I do it a lot it is so I'm limiting myself to twice a week. Um, the only thing that's gonna be hard about that is when I go out, like social settings, I always wanna smoke because I get so stressed out. Oh, it's gonna be hard. From July 7th to August 6th. I think I can do it, honestly, like, I have a lot of faith in myself. And then also you take a progress picture every day. Here's my progress picture for day one. And I'm not gonna be vlogging like every day because I don't have time to be doing that but I will make a video at the end of the challenge and show you all of that. Come along on this journey with me. If you guys are doing it too, that'd be awesome. Like we could all do it together. We're gonna go get some breakfast and then do our meditation for the day. Icelandic style Greek yogurt. I don't know what that really means, but it has 10 grams of protein and 0.3 grams of fat. Let's go. And then we're eating it with our protein granola. Yeah, this is my favorite breakfast. I eat this shit every day. So I'm also gonna have one scoop of my rule one protein. Guys, this, I've already had three bottles of this and it's so good. Like it literally tastes like chocolate milk. Here's breakfast for today. We're gonna do the meditation now. I like to wear my headphones so that I can be like completely in this moment. 
finished the meditation. Now I'm gonna read my book. For fiction, I'm reading On Living. The book is about like people that are on their deathbeds saying what the biggest lessons they've learned in life. Got this from the thrift store because I thought it was cute and then I was like, sounds interesting. And then I'm also gonna be rereading I'll Give You the Sun. This is my favorite book, literally of all time. I read it last summer, I think, so I'm gonna read it again this year. It's so cute. I want to read you a quote that's actually really good. <laughs> Things are never only as they appear. There are always layers to people's lives, unseen memories under every face, every decision, every movement or lack of movement. There is always gray between the black and white. So it's like not judging people as harshly as you usually do, which is a very good lesson. Got my reading done. I only got six hours of sleep last night. I did a little research and if you nap during the day, it can count to your full eight hours of sleep that you get like if you didn't get full eight hours so I'm gonna take a two-hour nap I'm up y'all I still have had 45 minutes left I know it's gonna hit me later but for now I'm fine gonna get up now basically gonna be it for my first day on the challenge i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys next week bye